What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com. So today I've got a little bit of a different video for you. So I wanted to go through and I wanted to talk about uh, some of the things in the SketchUp Essentials course and just kind of what's in it. I've been getting a lot of questions about, hey, what's in the course, you know, is this for me, that sort of thing. So I just kind of wanted to walk you through this. If you're interested in the SketchUp Essentials course, remember that that is on sale for 40% off um, of all pre-orders through 11.59 p.m. tonight. So if you're interested in that, that price is going to be going up after tonight. So uh, if you want to get the maximum discount on that, make sure you check it out before 11.59 p.m. tonight. All right, so when I created the course, I had four goals. So what I wanted the course to be is, first of all, I wanted it to be a place where I could give you a comprehensive guide to SketchUp's tools. So I wanted to give you something where you could go back and look up information again um, about all of the different tools in SketchUp and kind of walk you through the way that those work. So the second thing I wanted is a place where I could teach people smart modeling workflows. So basically a place where you could learn the smart way to create models so that they're easy to change and easy to work with in the future. So I, I would call that the right way to model in SketchUp. Um, the third thing that was really important to me is a place where uh, you could ask questions and get them answered. So if you're confused about anything, I wanted it to be a place where, uh, where I could respond to any questions that you had. And then at the end, the goal was I wanted people to be proficient in SketchUp by the end of the course. So I wanted you to be able to walk into the course and uh, by the time you were done uh, going through the lessons, you'd be proficient and you'd be confident in your ability to use SketchUp. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a course that kind of started with the basics and then worked into more complex tools. So what I did is I ended up breaking the course into 11 different modules. And so the first four modules are modules designed to help you with the basics of SketchUp. So the introduction teaches you to download and install as well as the basics of navigation around in your SketchUp model. So module number two is going to teach the basics of drawing with lines, circles, that sort of thing. So things like um, modifying things with the different tools in SketchUp so that you can actually create objects that go into 3D. So some of those principles will be taught in that section of the course. So module three is focusing on modeling with objects. So smart things in your model that can be used as building blocks. So things like uh, modeling with groups and components and downloading things in the 3D warehouse. So um, just creating things that you can use to quickly modify and uh, change things in your model in the future. So module three is focused on that. Module four is focused on textures and colors. So, or textures, materials, and colors. So that's designed to help you with the basics of using the different material options in SketchUp. So that one's designed to help you do everything from use SketchUp's built-in colors to um, downloading and installing your own different stuff into models to make everything look uh, more unique. And then once we've gotten through the first set of modules, then we're going to start building on top of those with more advanced workflows. So, so once we're done working with the basics, then the next set of modules is designed to expand uh, your abilities and your functionalities in SketchUp. So module five, we're going to talk about using cameras, views, and styles to do everything from creating animations in your model to adjusting the way that your model looks with various styles. So we're going to go through all of that in that section. So not only will you be able to create models, but you'll also be able to master the way that models look. In module six, we're gonna talk about advanced modeling concepts. So things like how do you speed your models up and what are the smart ways to model things in SketchUp um, in order so that everything can run a little bit faster, as well as things like how curved faces work and uh, working with hidden geometry to create even more complex shapes. Module seven will be focused on modeling with extensions. So not only how to download and install them, but also where to get them and some of the most popular important extensions that everyone should have on their computer. So in module eight, we're gonna discuss location and site modeling options in SketchUp. So everything from importing everything from importing geographical locations to working with SketchUp's built-in sandbox tools, which are designed to help you create earthwork, which are designed to help you create earthwork and other terrain in your SketchUp models. So you'll be able to use that 
to create things like that. So in module 9, we'll, we'll focus on a start to finish model for interior design. So we'll start by creating a floor plan and then walking step by step through adding doors, windows, cabinets, furniture, materials, and more. So and then building on top of these building blocks in module 10, we're going to talk about exporting your SketchUp models to layout so that you can create two dimensional architectural plans. This will cover everything from exporting from SketchUp to layout to adjusting your line weights, creating views, and just creating documents within layout itself. And then finally, in module 11, we're going to talk about, we're going to go through an introduction to photorealistic rendering. Everything from the basics of rendering to helping you select a 3D rendering program to going through some tips and tricks for creating better renders. All right, so the final thing I want to talk about is the course timeline. So through 11.59 p.m. tonight, there's a 40% discount on all pre-orders of the course. So that'll last until 11.59 Mountain Time tonight. Um, after that, the price of the course will be going up. And so from 2.29 to 3.14, which is the launch date, you'll be able to get a 20% discount on any pre-orders. So it's not the same as if you were to pre-order by uh, later tonight, but that still will be a discount. And then uh, the course itself is going to launch on 3.14. So that's when the full course will have launched. And at that point, I will not be discounting the course anymore. So um, that's just something to be aware of. This is not a course that's going to go on sale in the future. The price is going to be fixed. And depending on what happens with it, the price may go up. So that's kind of the timeline and the way things are going to work moving forward. I'm really excited about this course. I think it's going to be something that can help a lot of people. Um, I'm especially excited about being able to answer questions because I think uh, having lifetime access to this information but also being able to ask questions if you get stuck is going to be really valuable. I think it's going to help a lot of people. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message or leave a comment in the notes down below. In any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.